Hello there, here's a demo of a script that does OCR for math and multiple languages. So this was inspired by David Vargas' OCR extension, so shout out to him. Uh, the use case is simple. You have three options, uh, two for uh, two different languages, and the third one is for math and formulas. So by shift clicking an image, you activate OCR for your first language and here I have English as my first language and uh, you will get a child block and after uh, the OCR is done uh, you get the text extracted text in the child block as you see it's not uh, totally uh, it's, it's not completely perfect but uh, with minor edits you can get a decent extracted text uh, and for second language, here I have Arabic as my second language. You can activate it by Alt click. And <clears throat> uh, the functionality is the same. Uh, and you get a child block with the extracted test text. Uh, finally, you have uh, math and equation. So for this, we have control click to activate the OCR engine and uh, you will get all the equations in the LaTeX format and readable uh, for, for Rome. So basically, you have these dollar signs uh, for the uh, all of the for, for all of the equations. Okay, so three simple use cases: Shift click, Alt click, and uh, Control click to activate each one of them. Okay. Uh, now uh, about installation. So if you are familiar with uh, JavaScript extensions for Rome, it's pretty much the same. For those who are not familiar, I'm just adding this to be complete. So first of all, you need uh, Rome 42 installed. So if you have not checked Rome 42, you should definitely check it out. It's a great extension. I'm using uh, some of the functions developed by Rome Hacker. So uh, you need to install that and have it running for my code to work. And uh, for installing any JavaScript extension, you need these sort of blocks, rom slash js uh, <clears throat> block. And under that, you need a child block, which is a code block. For getting a code block, it's uh, sufficient to have like uh, three uh, open codes and you get this code block and make sure that the language is JavaScript, the default language is JavaScript, so you don't need to change anything. And then copy the uh, code, and uh, I, I'm going to put down the uh, link to the code in the description of the video. You can just copy uh, the content of the file to this code block and push that uh, button, click that button, and uh, yeah, so you, your code starts running on your graph. And OK, so let's move on to parameters. So you have a bunch of parameters that you can change for this code. And all of them are in this params object. And I'm going to explain each one of them uh, in, 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 in the last part of this video. OK, so the first one is the set of uh, languages that you can uh, use. So uh, there are abbreviations for each uh, language that you, are, you, know, you can use. And you can find all of the abbreviations over here. And uh, for language one, you need to uh, put uh, whatever your language one choice is here. And it's going to get activated by shift click and second language by alt click. And the, the place in the code is exactly line 14 and 15. Okay, you can have combination of two languages. So here I have English and French. You need a plus sign between them. So then the idea is that if your text is a combination of two languages, by pressing shift and click, you're going to get uh, that uh, text extracted. Okay. So let's move on to uh, math and formula. For that, I'm using MathPix, which is a great service. They have an API. And to access the API, you need to create an account. So here is a link to create an account. So I'm going to put the link in the description. And then to use the API, because you, you can use this service on your computer, basically, uh, as an app. 
but if you want to use my code uh, which use the MathPix API you need to uh, get an uh, app ID and app key and for that you need to uh, give them your credit card information but the good thing about MathPix service and API is that up to uh, 1,000 requests per month is free. And after that, uh, you only pay $4 for each extra uh, 1K request. So it's a great service, very accurate and very fast. Uh, when you register your account and activate your uh, API access, you will receive an app ID, an app key. You need to put down those two pieces of information here on line 17 and 18 of the code. Okay, moving uh, to uh, shortcuts. So um, I, I've added these shortcuts uh, because uh, this is the way that I use uh, this uh, extension. So when I <clears throat> when I OCR a text and I get a child block, uh, there are some uh, mistake. I'm fixing them by looking at the original image and then I want to replace the original image with this extracted text. So here I have set Alt A followed by C as my shortcut. So Alt A should, uh, it's like regular um, functional Alt. So uh, you press Alt and A together and then release and uh, click on C. So what it does is basically uh, replace the <clears throat> parent block with the child. So let's see, Alt A followed by C. And for that to work, you need to be uh, on the child block. So basically you're editing the child block, you're done, you press Alt C and you get the replacement. You can change uh, the shortcut because there are so many shortcuts for Rome. So uh, you may have already used this shortcut for something else. So you can uh, pick whatever you want and put it there uh, on line 22. And all of the supported keys can be found in the link that I'm going to put in on uh, <clears throat> put on the description. Okay, the last option is uh, about saving a reference to the image. So the idea here is that if you do the uh, OCR, you get this child block, you fix some errors, and uh, then you do the cleanup. And what happens is that you're replacing the original image. And because of that, you're going to lose uh, the link to that image. And you know that this link is uh, not that informative. So it's a random URL generated by Rome. So you're not going to remember this and you're going to lose it if you do the cleanup. So if you set this option to true, so the default value is false, you get an alias to, to uh, this image at the beginning of your uh, OCR uh, text. And when you do the cleanup, Alt C followed by C, Alt A followed by C, uh, you will still have a reference to uh, this uh, image. Okay, so that was the last option. Some notes about uh, supported files. So currently, only PNG and JPG files are supported, and. Uh, you need to upload those files into your room. You cannot just link to those images and uh, those images are actually outside Rome and on other websites. So uh, you need to put them in Rome. For example, here is a uh, GIF file, GIF file, and this is on another website. So the URL is not similar to other Rome's, uh, Rome uh, images. So what you get if you run this is this image that says that uh, OCR was not successful and uh, this is either because your file type is not supported or it's not directly uploaded uh, into Rome. And the solution is easy, so you can just take a screenshot of whatever file you have, uh, if it's GIF or uh, if it's on other website, you can just take a screenshot and upload that screenshot on uh, into Rome and then do the OCR, okay? Yeah, so this was the basic uh, functionality of uh, the OCR code and the set of parameters that you can play with. 
So let me know in the comments what you think about the code, if you have any trouble running it, or if you have any suggestion to improve it. Thank you.